this looks from from everyone we meet. <laughs> we're the monkeys. People say we monkey around, but we're too busy singing to put oh. anybody down. <laughs> Actually, that, yeah. Yes, Peter. If the, um, I, just, I just wanted to say that, that that has changed. Uh, in our more recent days, we've gotten a little less busy, and we're now willing to put people down. <laughs> well, the monkeys <laughs> of the 90s, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the monkeys were not the... Ivan Boski and the monkeys. <laughs> Muggies were not the only band created, essentially, for a television show. Another one uh, of the 70s was the Partridge Family. Let's take a look at a clip featuring our guest, whom you'll meet in just a moment, Come young on. Danny Bonaducci. Come on and park for a while. Did you finish your English composition? Yep. It's titled, Mothers Get Lonely Because Children Get Forgetful. <laughs> By any chance, did Mrs. Newgast help you write your English composition? Yeah. How do you know? Oh, a lonely mother's intuition. <laughs> I hate to tell you this, but ever since Mrs. Newgast showed up, you've just been another pretty face around here. He, uh, he survived... He survived being uh, slapped on the buttocks by Shirley Jones, and he's here with us today. Please welcome, from the Partridge family, Danny Bonaducci. You're bigger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Voice dropped the whole thing. Oh, it did, yeah. Holy cow. <laughs> Pure so did Shirley McLean's, though, so don't worry. Puberty will do that to you. It'll happen for you, too. <laughs> Just kidding, man. OK, the battle of the TV bands, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no, no. See, they're a band. Right. I'm an actor. Uh -oh. that, there's the big difference. No, there was never, the Partridge family never did anything after the show was canceled. Oh, I, mean, I as, cruised as a, a Love Boat a couple of times. A couple of Love Boat episodes. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, as, as a musical band, we, we couldn't have. We just didn't have that ability. Mm -hmm. Although, in 1975, Playboy magazine picked Peter Tork, Paul McCartney, Stanley Clark, and Danny Partridge as the most famous bass players in history. Did you know that? <laughs> 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 And do you know that David what? Letterman voted me the number one, the number three, and the number ten tambourine player in the world? <laughs> I don't know. I don't and know. Did you I know think... I'm really glad that I didn't get any of those distinctions? I, I think we should take a vote. I think Tracy could do a better tambourine than you. Remember Tracy in that tambourine? Yeah. There was a talented girl. She could really do it, that yeah. Tracy, I'll tell you. <laughs> we used to talk tambourine a lot. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> We were, we were close by. The sets were close by. So you compared a lot of tambourine Yeah, we notes. just used to trade scripts like this all the time. <laughs> there you go. Take Same script. They just t changed the names. Yeah, they, they, they cheated us, though. These guys got the really cool monkey mobile and those really cool monkey shirts. Yeah, we yeah. drove around in a bus in red velvet suits. <laughs> you see, the thing is now, we've got somebody on the inside, because Danny's going to be uh, handling some of our material, you know? That's I'm right. up on That's the right. Uh, radio station. Now that I'm a DJ. You are a DJ. Where are you a DJ? <laughs> Uh, Eagle 106, number one station in Philadelphia. Uh-huh. And uh, what, what shift do you do there? Uh, 10 at night till 2 in the morning. Is this something that you never thought you'd end up doing, being a, a rock and roll DJ? Well, I, I really had no plans. During the uh, nostalgia craze of, like, 85, about the time the Brady Bunch insisted on doing reunions, mm -hmm. right about then, <laughs> um, I, <laughs> I started doing a lot of radio morning shows. It was very hip. Mm -hmm. And uh, one night I was in Philadelphia hanging around in a bar, and I met the morning team, Welch and Woody. <laughs> Can you imagine meeting disc jockeys in a bar? Who'd have thought? I can't imagine meeting yeah. Partridge family yeah. members in a bar. That's a bit of more of a story. Oh, you never meet any of us anywhere else. Yeah. And uh, they, off <laughs> they, uh, they offered us a job. They offered me a job. Mm -hmm. I went on the air, uh, first night on the air, I called my wife. Uh, we were getting, div our divorce was just coincidentally becoming final that night. So I called her up on the air live that night. And Happy divorce, you Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yes. yeah. Now, wait, uh, about, about your wife. Yeah. She, th this was a, a rather different kind of marriage, was it not? He was a man. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I, uh, oh, oh, just kidding. <laughs> Although you we'll guys you back for another me. show. Get your heads out of the gutters. 
I'm sorry, what? Now, I mean, tell us about your wife. I mean, she was, my understanding was you married her to get her... Oh, a green card. Her she green was being card. deported. Uh -huh. And uh, I was in a Jap... Well, she wasn't going to be deported. She just thought she was going to be deported. I was sitting in a Japanese restaurant, and she was <laughs> rambling in Japanese to her friend about how her visa had expired, and she felt like her a master criminal. card was at risk. Right. Yeah, yeah. And that... Uh, and she was turning Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> that she had two full-time jobs and was a student. Uh -huh. I, thought, I, I speak Japanese, so you I... You had never met this saying. woman before. No. So I understood. I thought, God, I don't do anything all day long, and they're deporting her? Something is wrong here. So I asked her to marry me, and she said, okay, and we did. And how long did this blissful union last? On eternity. the meal. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, we stayed together six months, but it uh, took three years for the divorce to get final. Uh-huh. Yeah. Does okay, she still so have a green card? Yes, she does. She All right, who had stay. a question back here? Yeah. What about you? They're deporting you. <laughs> no, they're, they're, I, have, I have to go <laughs> off to Tasmania. Yeah. What are your hobbies? What are my hobbies? Who's hobbies? Yeah. Uh, everybody's? All you guys. Hey, what, everybody, toss up questions. Let's go from One, two, you. three. <laughs> <laughs> Mick, what do you do? Polo. Play polo. Mm -hmm. I love horses also. I have horses, race horses, and I like to, to ride. Uh, most things that everybody does. I like to run. I like to swim. On the horses? Yeah. <laughs> Water polo horses. Yeah. I avoid horses for a hobby. That's what I do for a hobby. Mm -hmm. so come on in here. I, uh, buy, I teach karate. Uh, you have a karate... Uh, yeah, karate who? <laughs> and what do you teach them? I, I teach them how to eat with chopsticks. <laughs> what do you think? I teach karate in Los Angeles. So, so, don't, so don't get them to work, Peter. <laughs> no. no. I know gun. <laughs> Over here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know Winner. Brick. Winner. I have a question you know for the what? monkeys. Gun. gun. I wondered if you could tell us a little bit about the song you do first in your new tour and where that came from and who wrote that song. Which song? The, hello, hello, um, hello. Welcome back song. Oh, hello, hello. It's good to be back. That's um, a tune. That's the whole song right there. You just heard it, you know. <laughs> That's a tune written by a guy called Gary Glitter, an English singer who uh, I think is great fun. And so we just thought it'd be nice to open with a different sort of a tune, you know. It's yeah. just fun to sing, Over so here. that's why we do it. My question is for Mickey. Um, how old is your daughter, and is she going to continue acting, acting for a career, or is she going to go to school? No, she's uh, out of school. She's 20, or nearly 21, and she is going to continue as, as an actress. I have three other little daughters, seven, five, and, and four, who probably n will not be going into the business. But uh, Amy uh, is going to continue, I think. All three of you monkeys are dads, too, right? Uh, I have four daughters, mm -hmm. all girls. Uh -huh. Four daughters, all girls. Yeah. Good how it works uh, out like I that. have a, one will be 21 this year, and really? another one yeah. that's just 18, just graduated from high school by the skin of her teeth, Sarah. <laughs> and uh, I have a little seven-year-old and a little one-year-old, so I've been sort of busy at home. <laughs> <laughs> and Peter? I have a 19-year-old uh, a daughter and a 13-year-old son who's lurking about the joint over there. Wait a minute, he said he was 15 yesterday when they were trying to throw him out of the jacuzzi. <laughs> <laughs> you little liar. Get a, are we getting a shot of him? Yeah, yeah, there, there he is. is. There's a guy. No, no, no don't look, look at the guy. If they can't right. see you, you look at the guy. Yeah. Ivan? Is it Ivan? Ivan? Yeah. Right, Ivan, Ivan stands like this when he's, we, we were doing our performance and we were at the uh, uh, Melody Tent in Cape Cod yesterday and uh, we're all sort of dancing around at the final number and right. the crowd are clapping away and Peter's there playing away and I just knocked him and said look at your son Arden was in the front row like this <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. and all the way down in the limo all the way from Cape Cod this morning he's saying my god what is this music and we're going bub, bub. <laughs> <laughs> when we come back more with the monkey Danny Bonaducci and later joining us Arnie Woo Woo Ginsburg all after this Come on, get happy.